want to worry some people is how much of i mean you look like you are you you're the one that has had the most impression uh and in the media in terms of you've shown your in the media and on ground on, so. on the ground I, in the media and on the ground on, so I left Auchi yesterday morning. I went to Igara. From Igara, I went to Afuze. From Afuze to Sabongida Ora. From Sabongida Ora to Emeora. I got back into Benin at midnight yesterday. What language I'm, are you speaking to them? I'm speaking... They say you don't know, you are not really um, a homeboy. They no, say... No, no, you are talking you are, about Aswe Godalo, not me. Is that the case with Aswe? Oh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't speak his but language. But do you speak? I speak Benin very well. And I'm very good with languages. Even his language, Isha. I can even speak a bit of Isha. So, you are referring to him, not me. Definitely not me. But you speak very well. I speak Benin very well. I mean, I, the Benin people that are watching tonight, how do you say to them that they should vote for you? Wakoyo, Walaho, Wado, Ryobo, Yimeyeke, Vazenodena, as our governor on the 21st of September, Walaho, Waladian, Wado, vote me, me oviwa mehi, oviwa, ovie sese, ovie do sese, ovie pata, ovie do pataki, Walaho. If you are Walaho, if you are him, don't worry, get a translator. Yeah, and I will. They, and they will I, let you know whether You'll be I, shocked uh, of how much of that that I could pick anyway. Um, you'll be surprised. I could be very good with languages. Uh, but the question here is that uh, uh, you might be able to connect with them. But let, let us go back to the question you asked. Who's funding me? I don't want to appear to be ducking any questions. Who is funding me? I'm funding myself and I have friends, Shion. You know what they say, your network is your net worth. I have friends who believe in me. I have friends who believe in this cause. I have people from Edo State who believe that we can do so much better. And so with them, working with me, we have been able to get to the kind of funding that we require. And then you ask me, oh, all I've done is law. I have practiced law successfully, Shem. Uh, I haven't actually been uh, idling around. So I, I, which general goes to war without counting, first counting the costs? So we have taking into consideration all that is required for this race. And I assure you, I will breast the tape. We are going to win. Mm -hmm. and, and so those who are hoping and praying that we run out of steam, they have, a, they have something else to, to come in for them. But the question about the, the platform, uh, the motor that you are, you are the vehicle that, that is taking you, the motor seems to have lost its tires. The motor seems to have lost its engine. How do you hope to win without a proper structure on the ground, which is a political party that's supposed to be a vehicle for any candidate? Well, we still have our tires. You know, we still have our tires. We're so still, your party is in we're still moving. Is I'm, in I'm, I'm just following up with your analogy. We still have our tires. But yes, the car is a, is a bit of a banger. You know, so we're, we're, we're having to check, check the engine now and again. But we will get to destination. Do you think that you may have made a mistake in the choice of political No, not party? at all, because you can't, you cannot... Uh, tie everybody with the same brush. Labour Party is still Labour Party with its objectives, with its ideology, which resonated with me. Labour Party is still for the people, Papa, Mama, Pekin. If the operators today are finding it difficult to get along, if the operators today are having difficulties at the national level or at the state level, I mean, we will have to fix our problems. Mm. But, you know, the Americans say you must be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. So we will continue to push. And by the way, Shane, the other parties have their own fair share of challenges. That is life. Nobody said it would be easy. So I'm quite comfortable uh, with uh, the state of affairs. We will fix our problems. But do we have a candidate? Yes, we have a candidate. Do we have an election a campaign to run? We do. And we're doing that with gusto. So I'm not really, I'm not going to be uh, worried about whatever challenges are confronting us at the moment as a party. Only that the head of your party is uh, shaking and those who think that the head is really not on the body of your party. There are mechanisms, that, there are internal mechanisms for resolving those how issues. How much of role is Peter Obi? Because I know that uh, he's one of the inspiration that you have. Absolutely. In joining the Absolutely. political party. Yes. I yes. Mean, the team that your party had uh, before you joined in the 2023 20, uh, election mm. is not the same team. Well, when, as at the time we started the campaigns, right, this, I will be the first to admit that the that things had, uh, the tempo had lowered. But come to Benin, so the people are believing again. The Peter O.B. fever uh, is on the crescendo again. And they are believing in our party and they are ready to come out. And like I said, they are going to serve this uh, current government, uh, the two incumbents, they are going to serve them hot breakfast on election day because the people are believing again. They were despondent. They despaired because of the experience of 2023. But they have seen that it is possible. It is within their reach. 
In fact, we now call election day September 21. We call it Freedom Day. Freedom Day for the Edo people because they've been in shackles. They've been in bondage. Uh, just because they've been victims of uh, misgovernance. Mm. You will say Olumide Akpata is better than any of the candidates that, are, that is on, on display. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the best man for the job. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, makes sure. you the best man I'm for the job? I'm the best man for the job. First and foremost, you know, I have no strings attached to me. I have no godfather. God is my father. I am not the, I'm not, I have no monkey on my back. So take the PDP candidate, for example, who wants to distance himself from the existing government. Uh, says, so, but he's been chief economic advisor of the Edo state government for the last seven plus years. Superintending over abject, abject failure. Do you know that Pebec says that Edo state is the worst place to do business today? That is the Pebec ranking. Do you know that the National Bureau of Statistics tells us that Edo State has not attracted for any, any zero foreign investment in the last four or five years. So that is, so I'm telling you, and meanwhile, this individual who has been chief economic advisor is not presenting himself to say he will, he will, he go do him. Let's take some of the issues up now. Okay. Uh, although the polls are not in your favor. One of the polls have come out from African Polling Institute, which says that you will come a distant third. Which polls are you looking at, Shoe? I'm, I'm, I've made I can the supply the African, I can supply African the B, polling. I can give you B, the BTV polls yeah. that say I will, lead, I will win the election. I but can send that information you? to you. They put me at 67%. I can show you Edo Pride, a, 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 an Insta blog that all Edo people, quite a number of Edo people subscribe to. They put me ahead. I can show you the poll from Tunde Ednot, a social, a social media influencer who has a lot of following. He, I won. It was a poll that was conducted for the, uh, for the entire day. Just yesterday or a couple of days ago, Rufai Hosseini, uh, who is of the Arise TV, just conducted his own poll. Online, I got, I came to the top 71%. So listen, you know the Edo State government is into spin and yarn, so they can bring out all sorts of stuff. I am not going to be banding around polls. I give you street credibility. All right, let's go get into it. to Mission Road and find out.